We just got out of work. And you guys know what that means. Woo! On the track, ain't no way my goose said he mobbing. Just call me Batman, cause I'm with the Robin. Ski mass in August, my niggas we ballin'. I have this chopper, it ain't just your noggin. Bruce Lee is something, I keep me a chopper. My bars just hot lava, I need get my guapa. Don't want your homie, she look like you baka or a chupa cobra. I might got a blocker. Might gonna go bow, I call that walk a flop. <coughs> Yo. You're all a bunch of <laughs> Especially you, fat boy. Now you guys know, when I first get to the shop, I like to relax, make my hookah, just chill out for a bit, you know, I just got out of work, you know, I had to drive an hour, because from work to here, it's an hour, from my house to here, it's about a half hour, so, I like to relax guys a little bit, you know, for like an hour or so, and then the work begins. We'll start soon. Alright. <clears throat> so I just got a text from Jimmy and it was some great, great news. I'm so hyped. I don't know if Jimmy gave me a sh I don't... Uh, he must have posted it or something. But he just sent me a text because he wanted to... He was asking me about my ECU, this and that. And like, it doesn't look like the one that we ordered... It's coming in. It's been like two weeks. So I was like, dude, I'm probably just going to order this one off eBay that I found for like 150 bucks. And, you know, I, was, I told him I was going to order it tomorrow or something. He just texted me because he, he, he left a little while ago. And somebody hit him up and was like, yo, listen, I have an ECU. The guy sent him pictures. It's the right ECU. So I'm really freaking hyped. I asked him how much and... He said it was free. So, Jimmy hooked it up once again. Once again, he yo, he got me the harness. He got me an ECU now. Literally, that's all we need is the ECU, and I gotta go get a battery, and we can freaking see if this thing runs, guys. So I'm really freaking hyped. Shout out to Jimmy. Shout out to whoever gave him the ECU. I don't know the details yet, but the guy said he's gonna send it out tomorrow for free. So lit, so lit, I'm so happy. Make sure you guys go follow Jimmy, subscribe to his channel, he's the freaking man. Like honestly, you guys already know, I, I can't, I, you guys already know. I, I can't, I can't stress it enough. Jimmy's literally been like by my side through this, you know, through this whole car game and I'm, I can't thank him enough. Like. He's helped me so much. I honestly, like, it's crazy because, like, because he's helped me so much, I've learned so much. And, like, there's so many things that I've done where, like, I wouldn't use to ask him for help that I don't even need to ask him anymore. So, like, I'm, you're the man, Jimmy. Love you, man. All right, guys. So, let's get started. When I was filming the clip before this, the one thanking Jimmy for finding me the ECU, uh, I noticed the battery light was blinking and I had to charge my camera. Good thing I brought my charger, but I had to let it charge for a little while. But anyways, tonight, what we're going to be doing tonight is some body work. So Damien last night was like, yo, listen, like, dude, you got a, a new motor in your car. You're resanding and repainting the whole car. Why not fix some imperfections on the kit? Now... On camera, it probably looks fine, but there's a few little, little things like 
this crack, I, the last season I put fiberglass, like I sheeted it behind it, you know, to, so it doesn't get bigger or crack more. But I completely forgot to put Bondo over this crack when I was working on it. So what we're going to be doing is putting some fiberglass Bondo over it. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to use this if you've never used it. It's really, really easy. I'm no body guy, but I've, I've, had my few shares no one of working. Out here is a body guy. Yeah, I, I've had my this few is shares a nice of bumper, and it's a rare bumper, dude. This is that OEM minus. Right? Yeah. So this is a good, this is a good bumper. It's done rare. Like I would, I would take care of this. Like everything on it looks really good, besides like the crack here and like down here. It's yeah. like, like in, like right here. Whoever did this. Yeah. This, those... is, this wasn't you. You used the. No, no, no. Those holes I'm gonna fill up. Yeah. Like. It, it needs so little, it's not worth it. Like the rear bumper, not a big deal, but Don's hot boy like that, so I know he's gonna slam his shit dumb far in the win in the in the winter, in the summer, <laughs> in the summer when he wants to go to a meet or some shit, and he's gonna fuck the bumper up, so or drift and just, fuck yeah, it up, or all drift and fucking duff some tires. Hopefully that doesn't happen though. I hope not. So yeah, the front bumper is the main objective. I'm not gonna concentrate too much on the rear bumper because it's kind of too far gone. Um, it's got like. Shh, like metal plates and stuff on it to hold together, which I kept, I kept on from the la the last owner because I thought it looked pretty badass. But um, the rear bumper, I think what I'm gonna be doing, I'm not gonna be doing it tonight because I don't have any on hand. But these little spider cracks, I might fill up with like spot putty or something. There's this one that like kind of goes in a little more, and then there's this. But just to get rid of all that, because. The problem with spider cracks is when you paint them, you no matter how many layers of paint you put, you will still see the spider cracks. Like it's horrible. We we, I mean we did like two layers of clear, but like you can still, still you can still see it. You need it. You need to either bond or fill it with the uh, glazing putty. Yeah. So the first thing you guys want to do is you want to sand it down, clean the area up so the the filler could uh you know, uh, basically attach very like well to the the fiberglass when you guys sand any type of body filler or especially fiberglass body filler wear a mask and wear safety glasses or your eyes will be itchy and you will think you'll be sick because you think you have a sore throat but no it's just a fiberglass like wear, that you've been breathing in like where if you can help it wear goggles and like a legit like a respirator yeah because, like, a respirator is even better a, a respirator is even better yeah so do that. I'm honestly gonna throw a dust mask on just because I have it, but safety is key, guys. Your, your body's important. All right, so we got all the spots sanded down. There's that. There's that. That one, we're gonna fill. Got that sanded. The holes right here sanded down. We got this spot sanded down and then those holes sanded down. So this spot, there's nothing really wrong there. Um, there used to be a big hole like this big and I sheeted it behind it and I filled it but I should have did a second layer of filler because when I sanded it down it ended up being flat so if you ran your hand against the bumper from this way to this way you'd feel how flat this spot was and you could actually see it after it was painted so we're gonna do another layer of filler there and there were some actual holes there's a hole there's a hole right here and there's also a hole right here that we're going to fill up. Keep in mind, guys, when you're doing holes like this, like there used to be screws there, I guess, or something like that. When you're doing holes like that, make sure you put tape behind it so the filler doesn't seep through and it can seat inside the hole, which is what filler is for. If you're doing big, big holes like, like this one was, I suggest sheeting it first with resin behind it and then using body filler on the outside of it. When it comes to bigger ones, you just can't like use body filler and uh, fill it up. But 
all sanded down. Now let's mix the filler and uh, I'm gonna apply it in one spot at a time. So we got the Bondo brand Bondo glass filler. When you guys buy this, uh, it comes in this size and then like a bigger size and an even bigger one. It should come with a, a little tube of cream hardener. Got some jumbo popsicle sticks and a scraper. So they say use for every golf ball size glob of Bondo glass, use one pea size like drop of uh, the hardener. I like to double the hardener because I've worked I've I've worked with uh, Bondo glass before, and sanding Bondo glass that is not dry sucks because all it does is waste sandpaper. It just gunks up on the sandpaper and you have to like redo the whole thing again. So I, knew, I like to use a little bit extra hardener. Got your popsicle sticks, you wanna scoop it up out of there and uh, mix it on something flat, like a piece of tile. I'm just using cardboard so I could throw it away after and then when you apply it, you wanna use your scraper and spread it evenly. Don't go too crazy because the more you put on is the more you're gonna have to sand. All right guys, so we're gonna start off with about a golf ball size of it, glob of it, to do uh, this spot right here. I'm just gonna fill all in there up. There's tape behind there. So yeah, that's about a golf ball size, maybe a little less. You're gonna wanna put your creamer in. Your creamer. That's about a pea size and maybe a, another one. And this'll harden pretty quick. You gotta work quick with this, guys, especially if you're putting extra hardener in it. You don't want it to harden on you while you're spreading it, cause that would suck. So you just mix it up like this, guys. You'll see the color change. Now it's like kind of a brown color. As you can see, it's already hardening quick on me. So you take your spreader, scoop them up, and just fill. So there it is, guys. Easy as that. It's all filled up. Spread it out as much as you can, so it's less to sand. Now we just gotta wait for it to dry. Just did this crack. Now we're gonna fill these three holes. So you gotta be careful here, especially with this hole. There's a body line on this bumper. Try not to fill that body line, because that was sucked to sand. For these holes, guys, we don't need that much. These holes are filled up, now we're gonna move on to the other side. All right, for this spot, and then these two holes, I just mixed up another golf ball glob size. And we're gonna finish this whole side off here. There you go, guys. And we're all set with the front bumper. Now, for the amount of hardener I used on this, guys, it'll probably be dry in about an hour or two, but we're gonna give it a full 24 hours to make sure it's completely dry. We're gonna come back tomorrow night and then sand it down. We're gonna obviously be using <laughs> the machine sander because on some of them, I freaking used a lot of Bondo just to make sure that the whole thing was covered. It obviously takes a lot more sanding, but it's gonna be all worth it in the end. So yeah, guys, that's about all there is to it. Um, Pretty simple. You guys wanna work with fiberglass, you know, that. That's all it takes. I'm gonna definitely do another video at some point of how to use sheets of fiberglass and the resin because my side skirt is completely missing a corner. And crazy story is that my um, my rear bumper, this corner, right guys? Looks good, right? Yeah, well, when I got this bumper, this rear bumper. I got this whole ING's plus one kit for a hundred dollars. Front bumper only had that cr that hole where where that spot was that I just filled. The rear bumper was in like two or it was like three different pieces that I had to sheet back together because the dude that had it before me always the bumper always flew off when he was drifting. That corner right there of the rear bumper was completely gone. He did not have the piece. So what I did was. One of Jimmy's old side skirts, the corner of the side skirt, I chopped off and we basically cut it as close as to what the missing piece was possible and we sheeted it and then I filled it. So yeah, we basically put a whole new piece there. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that 
with sheeting at the same time because my side skirt on the S14 right now, back at the old shop, going in and out was horrible trash. Such a big drop. It's completely missing this corner. I'm pretty sure Jimmy's old side skirt or whatever is up there somewhere. We'll do the same thing, cut the piece out, match it up to the missing spot, and then we'll sheet it, fill it, sand it, and guys, it'll look like I have a brand new side skirt. So yeah, guys, that's all I'm gonna do tonight. If this video was helpful for you guys, leave a like, of course, give that thumbs up, uh, share the channel, as always, guys. We hit 11K today. We hit, we got a 1,000 subs in like a day and a half or a day. That's freaking awesome. So. I'm hyped, guys. Like, we're, we're growing. I'm going to keep posting daily. I'm going to try. But, as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Have a good night.